When you copied the shared material to your course, you may have copied the online quizzes. And you'll notice that this folder is empty. Um, course copy just copies content. And again, online quizzes are considered a course tool, so they're not copied. Luckily, though, they will appear in the control panel. And if you go to the test manager, if you copied the quizzes and tests, you should see six uh, tests or quizzes here. And now I want to show you how to deploy them. But the first thing that I want to do is, so students aren't confused, I'm actually going to remove the online quiz. So I'm going to go to Manage Course Menu, and I'm going to remove it. And you'll see why in a second. I'm actually going to put the quiz in the lab. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the control panel. And the first quiz is for the GIS lab. Um, so I'm going to go to the GIS lab. I'm going to go to Test and I'm going to add a test, and I'm going to pick the GIS lab, and I'm going to click Submit. And it's going to say that the test was added successfully. When the test was added, I can actually modify the test options, and I'm going to run you through these. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do is, eventually I'm going to make the link available. Right now it's not going to be made available. I can also add an announcement. I'm not going to allow multiple attempts. Um, I don't want students to, to, be, e to be able to cheat easily. Um, so I don't want them to be able to take it over and over again. Um, you can deploy it. Um, I can display it after a certain date, um, and I can display it until a certain date. And actually, with the way the calendar works, um, that first lab um, we have in the, during this week, and I want to make it available on Sunday, and then I want to close it um, the following Sunday. So I'm going to close it the following Sunday which would be on the 17th. Um, and that's one nice way that I can control when students can take it. Um, I can include this test in the gradebook calculations, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I want to give the students a score. Um, and you know what? I'm going to give them full feedback. I'm going to show their submitted answer, and I'm going to show them the correct answer. Um, to minimize cheating, I'm going to uh, um, deliver each question one at a time, and I'm going to prohibit backtracking, and I'm also going to randomize the questions. This way they get one question at a time, each student gets them in a different order, so it makes it hard for them to kind of, um, you know, basically do the quiz collaboratively. It makes it a little harder. So I'm going to submit it, and I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click OK, and it has been added. And it's currently not available. So how you deploy and administer online quizzes is totally up to you. I usually deploy them the Sunday before lab, and then I close them out the following Sunday so students have a whole week to complete them. I encourage students to do them individually on their own. Obviously, I do give them feedback so they know what questions they got wrong, uh, so they could, in theory, uh, share the correct answers with, uh, with their uh, classmates. Um, that's just something we have to live with. Uh, in terms of grading, my labs are usually worth about 2.5% each. And of that, if there's an online quiz, the online quiz is usually worth about a half a percent. So the rest of the lab would be worth 2%. Um, there's actually five online quizzes. They're each worth approximately a half a percent. So the online quizzes in total are worth a half a percent each times five, uh, about 2.5% of their total grade the course comes from those online quizzes. So they're really not that significant in my course.